today on this October 21st, 2013. We're on our way to the hospital for the last time. Nicole's getting her Nicole or getting her um, chemo removed today. Today she's officially chemo free. And uh, as of 12 o'clock last night, it ran out. So it ran out last night okay. and all done. How do you feel? Um, put it into put it into one word. There's no word. I don't know. I'm excited. I'm really Melanie, excited. how do you feel? Yee. That's how oh, Melanie I'm feels. Alright, so off we go. Okay. We'll do some more along the way here. Okay. We're getting a little closer to the hospital. Okay. How are you feeling? Um, I'm not about to lose my mind. I'm crying. I'm so excited. This is a... <laughs> like I've won the lottery. <laughs> and I'm really happy. What are you going to do with your new lottery win? I'm going to Disney World. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to try to take care of myself and uh, eat the best I can for the rest of my life. Honor my body and enjoy every moment. And enjoy every moment and stay in the now, not in the past, not in the future, just right where I am right now. Because <laughs> the living is now. I have to say, you look excited. <laughs> I am. Well, here we are, the Princess Margaret, and we're about to go in shortly. And here is the whole building as we're approaching. And for me to get my needle out of my port. Where Nicole is about to be all excited. And this is the thing I'm getting out. <laughs> Today it'll be gone. Hi. Um, just in case nobody knows what this is, this is part of the, the line that goes into my port. And it's like this huge needle. I don't know if you can see that. The what? This a huge needle that goes all the way in. You move your hand and we might see it. There it is. This is it. I'm getting it removed. Well, I usually remove it myself, actually. They won't let me put my own needle in. But they did let me flush it once. And thin it out. Which I'm not allowed to do. Anyways, so what's the procedure you're getting done right now? I have to get it flushed, and then I have to cough it out. And then it's the end of my chemo. So they do that here? They do that here. And then what do we do? Then I go upstairs, and I ring a bell. Anyways, so I'm just waiting. I think I might be next, but I'm not sure. So how long has it been now? Oh my god, um, is it like five and a half months now? Five and a half months. What did it start with? What do you mean, what does it start with? How did it all start? It started with me throwing up and having a and <laughs> It was um, pretty intense. And then what? Then they had to take 25% off because there's no way I could have went through the whole process otherwise. And it's been held since. And I so there was an operation before this? Yeah. There was an operation yeah. that... Removed my stomach and took two-thirds of my esophagus out. And now I don't have a stomach, but I have tubes. And so the, why did you end up on so chemo? Um, because it, uh, it went into my lymph nodes. So was that the, the always known? No. They found that out after. So at what point? I'm just trying to get a chronological idea of how it's from beginning till now. An operation. They found my lymph nodes and I went directly to chemo after. And five and a half months later, here I am. So five and a half months on chemo. And which was the harder, did you call? If that's fair to say. Chemo was worse than the cancer. The chemo was worse than the cancer? A hundred times worse. Worse than the operation? Worse than the operation, everything. And my operation is big. So would you say it's been a struggle to get through the chemo? Huge, huge struggle. <coughs> and so what would you recommend to somebody else that was doing that? If they were preparing to do that? For chemo? Mm -hmm. I say go through it. Because um, some of the cancers, although you think you can do it in an alternative way, mine was a cancer that grew very fast. There's no way I could have done it. There's no way. I had to go through this route, in my opinion. What would you tell somebody if they said it's too hard, I can't do it? Take one day at a time. One minute, one second even. And just keep going. And what went through your head at the hardest times? Um, it would have been better if it wouldn't have come to this, that I would have just went. Did you want to stop? Yeah. What kept you going? 
end result. I knew that if I got to the end, that this would give me another 20% chance out of my 35-40% chance already. And um, I think you actually would help me get through it a lot. Thank you. I had my head in the bucket. <laughs> Melanie kept me going. My whole family. So support is very important. Very important. It's hard to get through this alone. Mm -hmm. <coughs> what have you done harder than this? Never. Nothing. Nothing, nothing compares? Absolutely nothing. This is the hardest thing I've ever had to do. Is there anything you'd like to say before we get finished up here? No, just it's the happiest day of my life. I get to bring a bill in a few minutes. Are you allergic to chemo? <laughs> I'm totally allergic to chemo. I'm getting rid of the chemo. <laughs> um, all right, now, what's going on? You're hooked up already. Yeah, the bottle's done. Good job, the bottle's yeah. done. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I did my own heating pad at home last night. <laughs> <laughs> I ran out about 12 o'clock. It was all the tricks now. I did. I wanted that to be in my system. Well, they said that I've done more chemo than the average person that has it. Yeah. So they're they told me that they're okay with how much I've had. So how are you going to celebrate? Oh my gosh. I want to wait till my taste buds come out. I was going to say, well, for dinner, but you're going to wait. I might. So you're I can't. I can throw this out. Don't fall off now. Okay. Yeah. Happy to see that go in the garbage. No more. <laughs> I want to see it go in the garbage. Can't touch me now. Be the doctor now. Yeah, really. yeah, you learn a lot, don't you, through your journey? And then I guess they still put the. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We'll keep it thinner, but like thinner. Too. Yes, we'll keep it going for now until you get it. Oh, I have to come back and get it flushed every once in a while? You should flush it every No, month. Oh. Six weeks. It can actually go six weeks. Oh, okay. A month is better. So hopefully. So, but by then you can just, you know, figure out what you're doing. Put some blood thinner to make sure that everything goes properly. Drano. So it doesn't drain. The main lobby was pretty hectic. Yeah. You want to do this? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Me and Melanie are going to ring the bell. And I've heard people are bring it so hard that it's fallen off the wall. I'm hoping I don't do that. <laughs> no falling off the wall. No. The next guy might want to ring it later today. Maybe. It's okay. I'm sure they have somebody ready to put it back on the wall. <laughs> Talk to me. How are you feeling? I'm so happy this is over. This has been the worst experience of my life, but the people here have been so good to me. And um, I'm happy it's over. And I'm going home now. Bye. <laughs>